White. What is going on, Gulf Coast Nation? Guys, welcome back to another bonus episode. That's right. In between our Tuesday regular action-packed episodes, we want to keep bringing you guys these bonus episodes in the middle of the week to help bring, to bring you guys some tips, tricks, and helpful hints to make your fishing outings more successful. So, let's get into it. Fish on, fish on. All right, so we've had a lot of questions on Instagram, Facebook, on uh, YouTube comments, that kind of stuff, asking about our rod holders. Now, as you can see, we're out here shark fishing today. We've got the rod set up right here. We've got a couple baits out, the Terraforma Tackle Float Rig and the Gulf Coast Nation Panhandle Bottom Rig. Out today, we're, it's winter time, it's cold. We're going after some, uh, some Mako sharks, and then there's a lot of other fun sharks in the area too. But, let's go over the rod holders. So, what we do is we go to Lowe's or Home Depot and we buy, we buy a 10 foot section of Schedule 40 one and a half inch PVC pipe. Now, what I'll tell you is a couple things are very important. Schedule 40 is very important. See the thickness there? If you go to a tackle shop and buy a PVC rod holder, they're really thin, they're brittle, they will break and they also short. So, go to Lowe's Home Depot, pick up a 10 foot section, and then what we have them do is cut them in half, all right? So you can either do it yourself in the store, sometimes you can find an associate to do it for you, and just have them cut it at a 45 or just a steep angle on one side then obviously the other side will just be the normal factory round cut so some guys use two inch PVC pipe we do not like using two inch PVC pipe because when the reels are in it as you can see the reels set really nice on this one and a half inch especially on the number four uni butts the two inch are a little bit big so the, the reel likes to sit down a little bit further um, the reel can rattle around so it's not really fixed very good and then also your line and the reel will rub on the outside of that schedule 40 pvc which can scratch the reel up or rub on your line so uh we go with the one and a half inch it fits really tight fits really snug and then this schedule 40 the thickness is really nice because it has some amazing amazing flex to it so what we do is we get out to the beach obviously take your cut end at the 45 degree angle stick it in the sand you take a mallet or a nice hammer mr yakin with jack gave us this nice weighted hammer here and you're just going to give them some taps give a little bit of a turn and kind of my my uh measure for thumb is my waistline so i'm gonna drive this thing just kind of keep wiggling it a little bit and then drive it down wiggle it drive it down and i'm going to drive it right about waist waist level is how i do it so that gives you about two and a half feet in the sand two and a half feet out of the sand this is great for surf fishing guys as well because i see posts all the time all summer long on the surf fishing pages on facebook how uh somebody lost the rod or they barely landed this redfish because the redfish or stingray came by, grabbed the bait, ripped it. They bought one of those cheap rod holders and they didn't drive it down far enough in the sand and the rod went flying and sometimes they go flying in the gulf and you never get them. So go ahead, it, these co it costs I think five or six dollars for a 10 foot stick. So for five or six bucks you get two really quality rod holders that are not going to break. Uh, we mousetrap some of our baits, five to 10 pounds of drag on these things. Um, we let clients fight directly from the rod holder and they put some really, I mean, our 12 foot seven tiger shark back in 2020 was caught in the rod holder. The kids were fighting it from the PVC rod holder. So these things have a lot of flex as you can see. 
They, uh, they'll hold, man. They'll hold for sure. <laughs> Stop messing around. Oh, check out this plane. Coast Guard, a little Coast Guard plane, that's pretty sick. Anyways, so as you guys can see, that's what we use for our rod holder setup. I'm actually leaning on this thing right now, but things are awesome. It's a uh, simple, simplistic, two and a half feet in, two and a half feet out, 10 foot stick, schedule 40, one and a half inch PVC, write that down, get them cut it right in the middle at a 45 degree angle, come out here and uh, fishing can be hard enough. So don't, don't worry about your rod holders. Don't make that a factor that's gonna fail you. So. I think that's it for this week's episode, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the bonus episode. Like I said, we want to keep bringing you guys more bonus episodes, little tips and tricks and stuff like that um, to help you guys have a better fishing experience. So if you guys enjoyed this week's episode, you got something out of it, be sure to give us a thumbs up, drop a comment below, and share it with your friends. Just so you know, a thumbs up. I, I cut my thumb cleaning the mako jaws the other day we caught a mako if you guys haven't seen that video check it out in the top right corner of your screen but we caught a mako and uh, we harvested it It was great you know the mako is fantastic eating but we kept the jaws and i was cleaning it through the day with an exacto knife slip and cut really really deep in my thumb but if you guys enjoyed it give us a thumbs up drop a comment below share with your friends and as always we'll catch you guys every single tuesday and maybe some bonus episodes you Came out of nowhere. Hold on, hold on. I literally walked on the beach. Oh, watch out, watch out, watch out. Let it go, let it go, let it go. That's good. Alright, we're gonna come towards you guys. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, hit it. That's a big one. That's a giant fish. Yeah, we're not. <laughs> <laughs> At least you got it on the hey,